You're gazing out over the Apuan Alps in northern Italy, where marble has been quarried for thousands of years now, and where more marble has been produced than any other place on Earth. The abundance is surreal. From a beach in one of the nearby towns, you appear to be looking up at snow-covered peaks, but it's snow that doesn't melt. What we admire as pristine white stone was actually born hundreds of millions of years ago in overwhelming darkness. Countless generations of tiny creatures lived, died, and drifted slowly to the bottom of a primordial sea where their bodies were slowly compressed by gravity, layer upon layer upon layer, tighter and tighter, until eventually they all congealed and petrified into the interlocking white crystals we know as marble. Some eons later, tectonic forces raised a great spine of mountains in southern Europe. Up went the ancient seafloor, and the crystallized creatures went with it. In some places, they now rise more than 6,000 feet from the level of the sea. Michelangelo sculpted most of his statues from this marble, including his iconic statue, David, and he was so obsessed with the region that he used to fantasize about carving an entire white mountain right where it stood. Although the tools of extraction have changed since the days of ancient Rome, or of Michelangelo, oxen and chisels have given way to tractors and diamond tooth saws, Carrara marble remains one of the most prestigious marbles in the world. A slab, a single slab, can cost up to $400 per square meter, or over $11,000 per ton. The market as a whole is worth billions of dollars. More than 13,000 people are involved and producing millions of tons of marble every year from the hundreds of quarries you see arrayed before you here. the bottom in the middle, okay? 